Hey everyone, Darren here from the Music Vault, coming at you on a lovely Tuesday, almost noon. Got a big update for you, well for me, but you guys can check it out. Uh, albums, CDs, and a couple magazines I want to show you. I'll do the magazines first. So, I was at my local drugstore and time magazine or life they're doing all of these you know magazines dedicated to uh a certain artist i don't think this is this is centennial entertainment this isn't um uh time or life or whatever it is i have a couple down there you got a metallica i got a queen a van halen and an Eagles one. Then I spotted this. All on Freddie Mercury. So I figured, you know what? I don't buy magazines anymore. Only because a lot of magazines that I bought before, they're not in print anymore. Like, I don't think Brave Words does any more mags. They just do online stuff. And like Circus, Hip Raider, Cream... I don't think you can get any of those anymore. I know you can get Decibel, but they're always around, like, for bands like My Chemical Romance and crap like that. I'm not into that stuff. However, these ones I am, because they're dedicated specifically for um, certain bands. So I got a the Freddie Mercury one. Now this one's all on Guns N' Roses. They have another Eagles one. And I'll probably go pick that up Friday or so. Or maybe I'll pick it up today. I'm not sure yet. But anyways, that's the magazines that I grabbed. Um, I figured I'd do the CDs first, then the vinyl. And then we'll go from there. Um, up first, brand new Dark Tranquility. Dark Tranquility moment. I've given this one spin, and it's really good. But, I mean, it's, it's typical... Um, Dark Tranquility. Next one up, Evil, and this is Hell Unleashed. This is awesome. If you haven't heard this yet, I highly suggest it. Go check out this band. Heavy, fast thrash. It's friggin' awesome. This one I got. It's uh, I think the, I believe the band's from Italy. And it's they're called uh, Brain Dead, uh, Menace from the Sickness, um, Italian Thrash, all like I don't know Creator, that style of thrash, um, you know. I'd be I'm at a loss. I only spun this spun this once. So I'm trying to remember because I've got so much in. I've been trying to listen to everything I got. Now this band, I don't know. I think I was going through uh, this page on eBay that I always buy from. And he had it in there. So I kind of wanted to check them out. And I got them on my phone on YouTube Music or whatever. Checked them out. And I'm like, whoa. That's uh, Lords of Black. This is two. This is an awesome, awesome album. I'm, I highly recommend if you like straight up heavy slash power metal, more in the vein of straight up metal, uh, I highly recommend this. They've got, uh, I think, three or four albums out. Um, I'm going to be picking them the balance up at some point but this whole oh, wow and that singer ronnie romero he's in another band that i have um awesome awesome stuff uh and i've spun that i don't know how many times already it's such a good album and and jealous a patrita i think i think that's what they're called uh, I think this is self-titled, Angelus Apatrida. 
and it has the slip case the slip cases up there i was listening to it yesterday and this is awesome thrash i have uh, another album from them i can't remember what it's called or where it is it's somewhere over there up there somewhere um but yeah this is such a great band wicked fast thrash heavy awesome stuff now this band is kind of like I wouldn't call it a super group. One of these are this is one of the many bands from Ronnie Romero, the uh, the singer. I believe his name is Ronnie Romero. Yeah, Ronnie Romero. Mike Torena is on this, and Magnus uh, Carlson. That's called the Ferryman. Excellent, excellent power metal. Um, kind of all over the place. I think, I think Ronnie Romero is either English or I know Mike Turan is American and Magnus Carlson, I think is Swedish. So it's kind of like a group pulled from many countries. Anyways, I ordered this one and loved it so much that I had to get that one. I haven't listened to this one yet. But those covers are really cool, too. And I'm really kind of getting back into power metal uh, and straight-up heavy metal. I had been out of it for so long. I had Power metal started to bore me. And I think that's why I got into um, death metal so much. Because it was more, you know, give you that bang for your buck kind of thing. But now I'm kind of branching out again, back out again with uh, other bands. And I'm getting into, like, back into old thrash bands, um, stuff like that. Speaking of death metal, the first massacre um, from Beyond. I just picked up the new one. And so I have, now I have all three massacre albums. Actually, there's one other one that I don't have. Now that I say that. But this is the classic lineup. Cam Lee, Riz, Rick Roz, Bill Andrews, and Terry Butler. Terry Butler went on to be an obituary and death. And same with Bill Andrews. Was in death. Rick Roz was in death. Cam Lee wasn't. Up next, the reissue of Destruction, Cracked Brain. Good album. Um, I've only... So I had it on... I think I have this on cassette. And I had it years ago. And um, I saw it on Amazon Music for a good, decent price. So I figured, what the heck? I'll pick it up. It's not a bad album. Brand new Exodus. If you have heard this album then you've basically heard every exodus album before it uh, except for the first album uh bonded by blood i think that album more so uh stands out alone not because it's their first album but paul bailiff was a different style of singer than rob dukes and zetro um i find that the last the first few albums were were like kind of different these ones kind of all like they're powerful they're heavy they're awesome but they they're they, they they all sound kind of boom 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 like in succession kind of thing whatever that means i guess i don't know i'm not a music reviewer i know if i really like it i like it if i don't i don't um so i showed this one a while ago that I picked up when I went with my buddy and I knew it's not a bad album it's got uh, Shotgun Sally on it uh, from Cats and Boots Rigor Mortis um, Vixen Havana Black Helix Exodus Thrash Under Pressure Michael Shanker Group Wasted and Icon so I figured you know what and I picked it up for like three dollars I can't I think I I think it was three bucks 
I figured, you know what? If that's a volume one, there's got to be a volume two. Has to be. And guess what? There's a volume two. I picked this up on Discogs. Didn't pay three bucks for it. I think I paid, I think it was, I want to say it was, the whole thing came to like 11 bucks. It was cheap. It was like 350 or something like that. Three bucks to buy or four bucks to buy with the shipping. And uh, this one has uh, Exodus, Vixen, Megadeth, Vinnie Vincent Invasion, King Cobra, Michael Shanker Group, Save Yourself, which is probably my favorite song from them. Cats in Boots, Helix, White Sister, and XYZ, Inside Out. So, I had to, had to. It's the collector in me. I'm beginning to think I have a little OCD in me as well. <laughs> uh, this band, I heard, I loved, bought the vinyl. Then I had to go out and get the CDs. And this is Sons of Apollo. And this one is awesome. This one is better. Um, those that don't know Sons of Apollo, Mark, Mike Portnoy, Billy Sheehan, Derek Sheranian, Jeff Scott Soto, and Rob Bumblefoot Thal. Thal? Thule? Thule, I think his name is. Kind of a super group. Awesome stuff. Now I have the CD and the vinyl, like I needed that, like a hole in the head. But being a collector, hello. Now these three, I was at my local record shop, like chain record shop this time. And yeah, you go in and you're like, oh, I'll just browse around, I'm not going to buy. And then you kind of like, well, you know what? I'm not leaving here without something. And I had something in my hand. I'm like, eh. So I went over to the rock section. Because I have my bands that I like to look for on CD that I have on vinyl and in the rock section, not the metal section. And lo and behold, they had something. The reissues of Marillion. Grasping at Straws, Script for a Jester, and, and, for the low, low price of, what was this called again? Misplaced Childhood. I have them all except for Clutching at Straws on vinyl, so I have these two on vinyl. Um, but I hadn't, don't have any Marillion on CD. Well, now I do. But, so I figured, what the heck. Um, I grabbed, these were all they had. They have a box set for clutching at straws, but it's like $99. And I didn't want to spend $99 at that point. I wanted to spend 56 So anyways... And then the last three CDs, I was on this Celtic Frost or Celtic Frost, however you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Celtic Frost because I think it sounds cooler than Celtic Frost, but whatever. Into the Pandemonium. This is a 2017 reissue. Now I have the Digibook which is right, right there. Um, and how I got this one is I was on a Celtic Frost, yes, yeah, so I was on a Celtic Frost kick and I ordered this one, double CD, Innocence and Wrath, Digipack. And I went, oh, wow, Into the Pandemonium. I don't, I don't think I have that one. And it was cheap. Well, come to find out that I have it. I have it on vinyl. I have it on CD, the, the Digibook. And now I have it on Digipack. But it's cool. I'm a collector. I mean, what are you going to do? And then, because I had never had this one ever, I grabbed this one, Hellhammer, uh, Apocalyptic Raids. 
I think this has a couple of extra tracks, but it's Celtic Frost or Celtic Frost, however you want to pronounce it. It's the beginnings of the uh, Celtic Frost. And because I didn't have it, I think it was 11 bucks. So I figured, you know what? And it's the Digibook, which I think is really cool. So I figured, what the heck? I'm going to grab it. Okay, so now the vinyl. What are we at? 15 and a half minutes? Ah, this should be okay. I saw this on a board that I am on. Old school metalhead or some stupid thing. So it's a group on Facebook anyways. And Laz, Dwayne Stockton from the Lazarus channel is on there. And he posted this. And I went, Gamma Ray. Now going back to my Power Metal, getting back into, I got on to um, Amazon, and this was dirt cheap. It was 35 bucks for the three album set, and when I say dirt cheap, that's cheap for can in Canada. This is 90, 1990 to 2020, 2020, and this is a live album, and if I remember correctly, they recorded this live album. They didn't record it in front of an audience. But it's a three vinyl set gatefold um, on standard black, just white inserts. And I don't think there was, uh, yeah, it didn't come with. Now this one is awesome. I love Gamma Ray. I remember being into Gamma Ray in my early 20s because I was a huge Halloween fan. I loved Halloween. Or Halloween, however. So, I figured, what the heck? I'm collecting um, power metal again. So, that's a good album, too. Nice and clear. Uh, up next, again, I saw this on one of the boards. And I went, oh, yeah. The reissue of The Dungeons Are Calling from Sabotage. Um... Up until Hall of the Mountain King, I love Sabotage. After that, I could pick and choose because um, Gutter Ballet, some of it's too soft and it just wasn't my bag. And this one comes with the, the seven inch Avatar replica, City Beneath the Surface, mastered for vinyl. And just read the back of that. No, don't worry. It's not attached to my record like the Gamma Ray. It just falls out. It's um, gatefold. You want to see? All right, I'll show you. Gatefold. It's actually nice packaging. And if I remember correctly, this is just black. Comes out. Oh, no, it's not black. It is... Red. Single album. And now that I'm pulling it all out, I will um, Whoa. Avatar seven inch, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it with the album or if I'm gonna put it with my seven inch stuff. I might keep it. Now this one I ordered and I'm like, I pre-ordered it and I was totally stoked it came in yesterday. Now I'm starting to have issues with the 180 gram vinyl when they ship them. This one came, the cellophane that it's wrapped in wasn't tight. So double seam splits and the albums were in the sleeves and i find that and this is a european uh pressing the obscura here is um gold foil um it's on standard black but i'm finding that they are the albums are too big for the the, 
the cardboard uh, jackets. Oh, jeez. Too big for the cardboard jackets. So they're all coming seam splits with seam splits. And it's very annoying when you spend the money you do on vinyl only for them to come seam split with a seam split, I mean. And then trying to get a copy at that price because sometimes like by the time I get to it sometimes it's the last copy and you're like and then trying to get it you're I had it one time where I ordered Iron Maiden uh the number of the beast no one of the seven inches that came out that I didn't have and I ordered an album and it didn't come then I had to phone them up and have it reordered only for the seven inch to be out of stock and to get my money back. Now to get those seven inches, some of them are like $45 plus some of the, some of them, I've seen them as much as $130 plus $25 shipping from the States. I'm not paying, I love Maiden. I'm not paying $150 for um, an Iron Maiden 7 inch for three songs. For that price, Bruce Dickinson, Steve Harris, Nico McBrain, the whole friggin' band should sign it and drop it off at my door and say, hey, Darren, bye, Darren, for 150 bucks. I mean, I don't know how some of these sellers, like, they've got rocks in their head. Okay, that's enough of my rant. Now, my three albums that I got today, I haven't even opened them yet. Like, I've taken them out of the package, but I haven't even taken them off the cellophane. The first one, Immortal. All Shall Fall. I didn't have this, and I was on eBay, I believe. And this is from an international seller, and it was a, such a good price. I think it was like 35 bucks, free shipping. I'm like, scoop, because I didn't have this one. And I love Immortal. Standard black vinyl. It's a gatefold. I'm gonna look, we're gonna look at it together. It's like kindergarten class again. Come on class, we'll look at it together. Now I'm not gonna keep this because it's just a sticker. Now if it was a hype sticker for, for the actual release, I would keep it. But this is probably not even a first pressing because this came out in, I think it came out five years ago. No, I'm wrong. It's 2017 pressing and the album came out in, there's no album. Just kidding. There's the album. See, and this came, it wasn't even in the album. It was tucked inside. That's, and it was wrapped nice and tight. Now, that's how they should come. But, and that, the other one, the Obscura was on Nuclear Blast as well. I understand life happens. It just sucks to spend all that money. And there we are. A bot. Horg and Iscaria. Lyrics on the other side. No download code or anything. Um, now that is a cool picture. I dig that. Anyways, that's the, now these two here, I've been collecting these, but when I found out that Laz was a big fan as well, we'd be kind of having like, um, we're kind of collecting them kind of together kind of thing. You know, the other day he sent me a picture and he's like, woohoo, I got it. And I was kind of bummed because I hadn't got my copy yet. Well, woohoo, I got it. It came today. Uh, Saga, full circle. This is probably one of my favorite Saga album covers. I love that cover. It's a gatefold. Uh, this album came out in... 
you remember 2010 ish 2009 can't remember anyways 180 gram now those I'll keep 180 gram um, gatefold now I don't know this album is awesome like that's the song remember when such a great song and uh, this album um, oh, come on I have it on disc I think once I get all of my saga in get them all isn't that cool oh it's awesome and then the um, printed sleeves so nice these uh, look at that these um, these saga reissues oh my goodness I'm a huge Rush fan. I'll say it till I'm dead. These Saga releases are so much more attention to detail. They give you little extras. Like I know this album probably, I don't, I don't even think this album, yeah, it's the first time on vinyl. So a lot of these later albums, they've never been released on vinyl. So for them to get the, the gatefold treatment, I think is just awesome. And then, because I'm ordering all of the Saga, um, and I'm noticing that on on um, Amazon, the prices are jumping. They're, they're coming out. Like that one I paid $22 for. And this one I paid $27 for. Now I think this one's going for $43 or $47. And that one's going for $34. I think maybe, maybe $41. I can't remember. But they're jumping up in price. Now this one, first time on vinyl too. Detours, this is a live album. I don't know when this was recorded. 96. Um, this one came out in 96. I don't have this one. And again, first time on vinyl. So I'm going to open it up. This is a triple album set look at that isn't that cool yeah I love it and then you've got this is either, this is obviously sides one two three and four nothing And then you've got sides five and six, or E and F. And this is obviously on standard black. You know, sometimes uh, it's nice to have standard black instead of color because standard black just, but look at that. So that, my friends, oh, that took a lot longer than I thought, probably because I gab a lot. Um, Anyways, this is probably my last video until the new year. Um, I don't, I don't know if, yeah, it's my last video until the new year. So until the new year, you guys have a great Christmas. God bless. Stay safe. And uh, man, may the love of God, Jesus, be with you guys. And I pray that you guys have an amazing Christmas. Okay. You guys take care. Bye.